you're gonna leave it alone. But stop trying to associate people being gay with pedophilia. I'm gonna take it a step further. If they were associated with one another, homosexuality would be more accepted. No, for real, seriously. It's a false equivalent, but I want to take it even further because why these right leaning pedophiles and perverts are trying to spread their gender and indoctrinate everyone into their like twisted mindset? No one's talking about the shit they did or how pedophilia and, and child rape and like molestation of children has been celebrated in this society. I mean, we can see it in the general public. Jerry Seinfeld did a 17 year old. Bill Wyman of the Rolling Stone did a 14 year old. Don Johnson, like Mr. Bro Dude, no, I don't like wearing underwear. It's inconvenient and uncomfortable. Dated a 14 year old Melanie Griffith. Um, Fergie. It's not just men, it's women. Fergie dated Justin Bieber when he was only 16. A 30 year old Nicole Sheck, I forget how to say it, Skessinger, of the Pussycat Dolls dated Harry Styles when he was only 16. And don't even get me started on like R. Kelly. A 51 year old um, Doug Hutchinson of Lost dated a 16 year old aspiring country singer. Like, seriously. And then we get to the most villainous and like felonous, Woody Allen. Woody Allen literally went to a foreign country with Mia Farrow, adopted, then groomed a very young Sony. And when Mia Farrow found out, she found the pictures, according to her own testimony, when she found out what Woody Allen was doing, she literally, do you think she actually went over and beat the living shit um, out of like Woody Allen when she found the pictures of an 18 year old half naked Sony or naked even? I don't know what they look like. Do you think she took a shotgun and blew his brains out? Do you? No. She took and she said, oh, Sunni was acting like irrational and like hysterical, so I just smacked her clear across his face. Really? You took a child who had been like sexually molested and groomed and then like physically accosted her instead of like beating a living hell, beating the living shit out of Woody Allen, blowing his brains out, doing something like passionate and responsive that's proportional to the actual crime being committed. It's no wonder she was so brainwashed she went and married Woody Allen in the end. And do you think we blame him? Do you think we ostracize him? Do you think... No, we celebrated him. We upheld his movies. And we even... He was, like, in, well into the 2000s getting front row seats to the New York mix. Like, even saying things like, I'm more European because they like it. They're younger. He was literally telling the world what he was. And can we go a bit further and say that, like, we not only celebrated that, we celebrated and, and pitied, like, Joey Botafogo, who really... Or Botafogo, who really needed to be, like, given the death penalty. Half the half the shit he pulled. Seriously, he slept with and mentally screwed with a 16-year-old Amy Fisher, who was then so mentally distraught, she went to the Botafogo household and literally shot Mary Joe Botafogo. Botafogo, I forget how to say it. Botafogo. Um, yeah, he, she literally shot the wife. And, like, because she was that mentally distraught and the sexual abuse and the, the um, statutory rape that Joey had done to her, actually left her in that mental shape. Like, that's kind of screwed up, that we, like, say it's A-OK -okay for him, and then vilify Amy Fisher, who literally should have been, like, swept out of the spotlight and not chained or anything but given proper mental health and everything. I mean, this girl deserved so much, and we vilified her. And she was chained, and she was publicly ridiculed. Like, Joey, who fucking raped her, basically got, like, aw, you have it so hard. Like, no. And then you come over here and say, after you've done all that, we deserve to be shot. We, we have to have these talks. Because this shit is wrong. You perverts have got it backwards. I'm just saying. We need to really shine a light on what's really going on in this country. The rapists are the ones getting the laws. But I'm just going to come out and say it. You back people who are obviously insulting children. Who obviously corner children in bathrooms. Young boys, no less. Forget about young girls. And actually rape as a and molest them and coerce them into situations. And you see them as electable. As great leaders. Think about that. You're saying those kids' safety doesn't matter, but then you come at us and say, we're groomers, we're pedophiles. But here's the thing, if you're not just approving of the people who are doing the actual crime, and you're sympathetic to them, and even supportive of them, we aren't the one grooming. You are. And that's a fact. Ignorance is not bliss. And protecting people who are obviously harming children, and then protecting their right to write laws against us, in addition to writing laws that support them, laws that allow them to rape 10 and 11 year olds and have them have babies, laws that allow, like, the sterilization of indigenous black and disabled women, I'm just saying, you are the criminals, or as Martin Luther King used to say, since you love to bring it up. The law doesn't make it right, it doesn't make it just. You can oppose an unjust law, and still very much be in the right. And that's what's happening now. And you're allowing the writing of unjust laws, which means you're in the wrong. Hmm. The wrong side of history, the wrong party, and backing the wrong people. You're in a very good place. In a very good place. Regardless of whether you're Republican, or whether you call yourself conservative, or MAGA patriots, or whatever the hell you want a name you want to give yourself. You're still just supporting rapists, and child molesters, and pedophiles, and saying it's okay. Hell, the president you supported actually said that Jeffrey Epstein seems just like them a little young. Liking children, to him, was just liking them a little bit younger. Think about that, and you're still okay with it. Sorry.
you are the most amoral, morally bankrupt, unethical, and even, dare I say, unchristlike people out there. Yeah, you're in the wrong, and it needs to start being called out.